Hi, my name is Mohan Rakam. I'm the senior principal engineer working for PowerEdge Technical Marketing. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the AMD EPIC third generation of processors. AMD has been quite a disruptor in the market. You know, we've had the first generation of uh, AMD EPIC come out a few years ago, and that was a pretty new and unique architecture. Then AMD launched the second generation, which was quite a big change from the first one, improved it in a lot of ways. There were substantial improvements, and that happened around two years ago. We're now at the point of having the third generation of processors. This one is not as different. We have a few changes architecturally, but it's, it still has the same uh, chiplet design, the same 12 nanometer uh, IO die and the 7 nanometer compute dies. Still has PCI Gen 4, still has the same socket, and still has, you know, uh, overall architecturally is very similar to Gen 2. So it builds on Gen 2. So what is different? Well, with the third generation of AMD EPIC processors, there are three key areas where they made architecture improvements. The first one, if you remember, there's the concept of CCDs and CCXs. If not, you can definitely find all that information online. With the AMD second generation of processors, we had four cores sharing a single L3 cache. Now with the third generation, all eight cores in a CCD share 32 megabytes of L3 cache. What this means is the intercore latency really goes down and each core actually has up to 32 megs of L3 cache now. So it's almost double available and that really speeds up things. The other one that did change is they went in and tweaked the in internal architecture so you have improved IPC. So what does that mean? Overall performance for various functions speeds up a little bit. And the third one where they really made a difference is now they've been able to clean up a few things internally and allow for higher boost frequencies. That means now if you have an application that's frequency dependent, hey, it's going to get a massive boost. Yeah, got it, boost, boost. But wait, that's not all. AMD has made other enhancements in the memory section, in the IO MMU, and around NVMe support. In the IO MMU, which is the IO memory management uh, interface, what they've done is they now have made tweaks which allow you to get closer to line rate when you have, say, a two port 100 gig NIC connected to PCI Gen 4. That wasn't really possible with PCI Gen 3. Uh, the other area where I've done is they now support surprise hot plug remove. So if you want to plug out an NVMe drive, that's the CPU now enables it. Make sure to verify your OS supports that before you go pulling out drives. That's not the best thing always. And then they have made changes around memory. So they went in there and cleaned out the memory so the latency is really much improved at this point. In addition, they now support six channel memory interleaving. So if you want to you know, not use the full eight DIMMs per channel uh, or eight DIMMs in a, to a CPU, you can go with six or multiples of six and still get pretty good performance out of that configuration. So all said and done, we have seen spec uh, performance improvements of up to 30% or more, depending on the number of cores and the specific SKU. So what are you waiting for? The AMD third generation of processors is fantastic. Go check them out.